All right, gorgeous ones, welcome to the Fierce Five for today. And today I wanna to talk about the five basic oils you need to keep in your house for your great hair and great skincare. So if you would like to find out what the five basic oils your house needs, don't go nowhere, stay right here. I'll be right back. All right, so let's go back into this Fierce Five. And I don't know, sometimes when I'm talking about things like skincare, I like to like video, I like to tape without any like makeup on. So I know I'm like makeupless, it's just me. You're going, girl, put your face on, but I didn't and we just gonna keep moving. Okay, so let's talk about the Fierce Five. These are the five basic um, oils you need in your house for hair and skincare. Now, of course, you can use them to cook with because these are food grade. But these are the so the reason why I chose these. Let me tell you why. First off, the reason why I chose these are that these are all around really good to have. Number one. Number two, they're the, they're so easy to get. Most almost every one of these you're gonna find at your local supermarket. You can go to Whole Foods. Trader Joe's whatever wherever you shop you can find these you don't have to like go searching for these five oils and they are so good to have in your home and not just for cooking so these are the basic ones I will be talking about specialty oils essential oils things like that give me a chance but right now I'm, I'm gonna need you to I'm gonna need y'all to get these so the first one we're gonna talk about is olive oil now we all live I, I don't know how many people how who doesn't keep olive oil in their house who doesn't i mean we use it to cook with we put it on our salads you know dip some bread in it but let me tell you why you want to keep it in your house for your hair and your skincare and I, I mean like olive oil pretty much everybody knows why but let's just go over a few things now let me just tell you first this is classic olive oil this is not extra virgin i do have extra virgin in my house use this for your hair and your skin care and the reason why i say this is because extra virgin is about the pressing and it's the first press and it's the lightest one and it's good for salads and things like that but for hair and skin care you do not need to use that more expensive ev e -E, extra virgin olive oil evoo as you know what's her name rachel ray says you can just get this kind. You could just get the basic olive oil because you're not ingesting it and things. And this is great for cooking anyway. Just so you know, don't use your EBO to cook with. Use this because you're gonna be um, heating it up. So there we have it. Okay, so let's just talk about it. Now that you've heard all that about olive oil. All right, now first off, all of these oils have some anti-aging properties why because i'm 51 as we know i'm 50 something years old and i'm all about keeping our skin as healthy and as hydrated and as beautiful as we can without having to go and you know go on and spend that extra money on having some you know work done because lulu realness this face is gonna age okay all right, so olive oil is filled with antioxidants like vitamin E, polyphenols, and phytosterols that, that helps protect the skin from premature aging and helps pre prevent free radical damage, and it doesn't clog your pores. Now, that's on the skin thing. Now, let me just say this, though. If you're going to put olive oil on your skin, it is best to use it at night like a of an overnight oil moisturizer you know and the reason why is because even though it doesn't clog your pores it's a very heavy oil it doesn't you know gives you that like oily feel and look it doesn't evaporate into your skin or melt into your skin like other oils do so if you're going to use olive oil make sure you use it at night trust me on this now the other thing of course is with hair it moisturizes your hair and it helps in hair growth automatically. It moist, it's going to moisturize your hair and it's going and because your hair is moisturized, that automatically helps in hair growth. And you know, me being a sister, black woman, you know, one our hair tends to be drier. So the olive oil on my hair is awesome. So you the best way to deal with olive oil is to do like a hot oil treatment with it you know slap the, the easiest thing slap some olive oil on your hair 
you know, put a, a plastic cap on, get under a, a dryer, or just, you know, put a scarf on, leave it on for a few hours. That's the easiest. If you're going to put it on your hair for moisture during the day, use a very small amount, get it on your hands, and then just run it through. Because I understand it's not going to penetrate, but it is going to moisturize, so don't do too much, or you will have oil coming all down your, and it ain't cute. Okay, so that's that. Next one, almond oil. Now, I keep almond oil for, and we'll get into it more when I'm talking about the essential oils, but almond oil is a very lightweight oil. It's very good for mixing with things because the properties in almond oil work, but it, it's, just a, it's just a very lightweight oil. That's, that's all I can say about it. But almond oil for your skin, it helps to reduce dark circles, it helps with psoriasis and eczema, unlike, you know, Tati's magic pills, but I'm just throwing that out there. Um, and it reduces wrinkles and fine lines. Now, of course, because anything where you are moisturizing your skin is going to help with the reduction of wrinkles and fine lines automatically. Now, when it comes down to your hair, it helps with split ends and it treats dandruff. So if you have issues with dandruff, this is a very good thing to like massage into your you know into your hair all right the next one we're going to talk about is safflower oil now safflower oil i just kind of got into um from getting it you know because i'm always looking at things the other ones i've been using for decades the safflower oils she's she's new to she's new to the pantry safflower oil, she's new she's new she's only been here for a little while but but i love her too okay so safflower oil on the skin it helps improve the quality and texture due to the abundance of linoleic acid i think that's how you say it and it combines with sebum in the human skin to unclog your pores and reduce rashes and acne it also helps with regeneration of new skin cells so while it's doing that it's helping to regenerate new skin cells which is what we need because as we grow older we don't regenerate new skin cells as much and that's why our skin gets crepey that's why we get the wrinkles those things so you really want to like get the turnover of new skin cells and that's what this helps with a sapphire does when it comes to your hair it improves the circulation in your scalp so it stimulates hair growth and strength to and bring strength to the hair follicles so safflower oil is really good to like um you know put on your put on your scalp and really massage it in because it helps with you know um, you know the uh, circulation in your scalp so that's one of the great things about it okay so now this one this is one of my favorites grapeseed oil now I started using grapeseed oil for my hair you see I got a big ass thing of it too grapeseed oil but then I found out how good it is for your skin too. And you know, if you think about it, Caudalie is a whole skincare line that is based on grapes. And so grape seed oil would definitely be something that's good. So grape seed oil is rich in vitamin C, D, and E. And so that helps reduce wrinkles and scars and it's antioxidant rich and can help to, you know, help with breakouts. Um, when it comes down to your hair, I started using it because it's a hair strengthener. So it moisturizes and conditions your hair. It helps reduce dandruff, but it's a really good hair strengthener. And so that helps promote your hair growth because of course, if your hair is stronger, it doesn't break off as much and that promotes hair growth. So that's, that's how I really started using it. But like I said, it's really great for your skin. That's why so many things use grape use grapeseed oil and everything so now here's the last one coconut oil coconut oil and i know yes 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 i have a huge amount of it but who doesn't who i mean come on we go to costco we go to walmart we buy the big who i mean the little thing just doesn't do it okay so let's talk about coconut oil coconut oil has good things and bad things from it so let me just explain why I say that. Now, coconut oil is an antibacterial and antifungal. So certain things, let me just give y'all some real. Certain things that you can use it for, like you can use it for oil pulling. So if you do oil pulling on your mouth, which I need to start doing that again, it's really good because it helps, it does cleanse your mouth. It gets rid of, you know, bacteria, bad bacteria and things in your mouth. 
if you don't know about oil pulling let me know we can talk about we could do a whole thing about it i'm starting to get back into it because i kind of do like doing it and it's an antifungal and let me just be real with y'all um i use coconut oil when i use my yoni eggs because it's an antibacterial you know you if you want to put some lubricant on it as opposed to using olive oil you know you're going to use a natural oil because you're putting it inside of you but coconut was the best one because of its antibacterial properties i'm just letting you know okay now here's the thing that you don't want to and coconut oil is really good to remove makeup it's really good especially when um the liquid lipsticks takes them right off and it's really good to do a oil cleanse you know like if you do a two-step like me coconut oil if you just want a basic oil to do it with get you some coconut oil cleanse your face with that and then go back and cleanse it with your regular cleanser what you don't want to do with coconut oil is moisturize your face with it and i hear a lot of people say oh i put coconut oil in my face no stop doing that coconut oil clogs the pores it does not seep in and you know it doesn't it clogs your pores. This is the solid there is to it. It will make you break out. And I hope people are like, what? Are you kidding me? Yes, coconut oil will make you break out. Don't do it. It's good on your body skin for moisturizing. You, you know, I use coconut oil all the time on my skin, but I do not use it on my face except to remove some makeup. Now, when it comes to your hair, you only want to use coconut oil as a deep conditioner you know to do a hot oil treatment on your hair you do not want to just take coconut oil and slap it on your hair I know listen I know people are like oh but it makes my hair feel so soft let me tell you why you're not going to do that and only do coconut oil hot oil treatments sparingly like every few months or so if you think you need it the reason why is because coconut oil is a very is very high in protein and so if you put it on your hair you're putting proteins on your hair and eventually too much protein on your hair will dry it out and break it off so even though yes in moderation if you are low on protein and you need you, you need protein it's a good protein you know like to to put protein back in your hair and if you decide to use it as a hot oil treatment and say you put it on your hair, leave it on, wash your hair off, you must condition your hair after you do that or you have, because you need to put something back to combat the extra protein that you put in it. Like me, for instance, I don't really put coconut oil on my hair because due to my, you know, my issues with my blood and stuff, I have a lot of protein in my system because I do, you know, do red meat. So I do do kind of high protein content things. So if you have a high protein diet, do not, do not put coconut oil on your hair. You do not need it. It's not going to do that. What it's going to do is put too much protein in your hair and it's going to be an adverse as, as opposed to it being good for your hair. So just, I'm letting you know that. But coconut oil is good to have in the house for things just like I said. All right. So that is it for this Fab Five. All right, so that is it for this Fierce Five. I hope, you know, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. You know, leave me any comments. Do you use these oils? You know, do you enjoy using them yourself? So everything's just gonna be loud around me. What's up with this? Is this trucks? It's like Saturday morning. What the fuck y'all doing? Okay, I'm sorry they're just disturbing us. But anyway, I'll, maybe I'll put some music on. I'm going to take this off. We're going to let this run for a second. And we're going to take all this off. Start it over again. Right here. Did he move? Okay. Alright, so that's it for this Spears 5. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you have any oils or you have any questions or want any more information, let me know in the comments. I would appreciate it. And if you're new and you've made it this far, you know, it's just a polite thing to do to go ahead and, you know, hit that subscribe button on your way out. Because that's what you do, polite thing, as you leave somebody's YouTube channel home. It's my home. So come on and hang out. 
All right, it's your Lulu. Be bold, be brave, be fearless, be free.